Good morning, and as every morning I bring you the message for the day from the Ashram for Unfoldment. I am Ramon Leonato. And the um, title of the message for today is Nothing Can Disturb Your Peace. On the spiritual path, things are not given to you. They require your work, conscious and disciplined work on yourself. But remember that for every step you take towards the Divine, the Divine takes ten towards you. This means really that you take the step of opening the window and the air comes in by itself. So you open the window in a, in a stuffed room and the air comes in by itself. So you just have to do a little 10% and then 90% comes to you. If you live 60 or 70 years in your lifetime, remember one thing. That of those 70 years you have lived only one for yourself. The other 69 have been wasted, totally wasted. What are you doing then in life, wasting yourself? Take a moment, even if it is only one moment in the course of the day, to know yourself. That is not wasted, that is fruitful, for that is the reason you are here, not to waste your flourishing time, you are here to find yourself. Reading uh, this morning uh, uh, the Washington Post, I read an article about uh, this tradition in America of the good morning routine, the, the morning routine, and it goes back to Benjamin Franklin, and it's a very nice article about how important is the morning, when you wake up in the morning and the, the sun is just about to rise or rising at that very moment and you are in the most intimate position in the most you you are intimate with yourself it's like you are very nearby yourself at that very moment so um, it will be the practice for today that remember you will do it tomorrow which is the good morning day practice it's a routine it's a routine by which when you wake up in the morning you realize that you are going to project in your mind a reality which is not real that is illusion not this chair not this day not the shower where you will going to have a shower uh, not the coffee that you are drinking not this universe of hours in which we are this is the relative manifestation, not something unreal. The unreality is that reality that you project in your mind that contains your memories, what you say yourself about yourself, what you say to yourself about life, the memory you have of the people that are part of your life that day, and then you engage in conversations and you imagine a reality, you imagine something that nobody knows, nobody cares. So, good morning day practice is basically become aware of this and say good morning to the day and discard that during the first hour of the day that you are going to put yourself in the presence of that consciousness that is permanently expressed in this manifested universe of ours of which we have the experience of our day which is the end result of our evolution of this lifetime and all lifetimes previous to this lifetime which is the same to say of your evolutionary lineage, your parents, the parents of your parents, the parents and the parents of your parents, so on and so forth. So put yourself in the presence of that and say good morning day and discard that reality that you think exists because that is what is really unreal. 
you disturb yourselves and nothing and no one else in the world can disturb your peace. Because that reality which does, has no existence is what disturbs you. So we are disturbing ourselves. And we keep, you know, all the time with opposites, pain and pleasure, good and evil. <coughs> Both are two sides of the same coin. They are made of the same energy and coexists as light coexists with darkness. I would add as matter coexists with dark matter, energy with dark energy. It will always be so. The secret is to go beyond. And the only way to do this is through spiritual practices, rising above the conscious level of the mind and reaching the supraconscious level. Then you place yourself in a vantage point from which you can observe all events to escape from our sufferings and miseries and miseries. To escape from our sufferings and miseries, we have to rise above them. So, the good morning day practice is that while you shower, while you dress, while you prepare yourself to start the day, you put yourself in the presence of God. If there is any mental chatter, direct it to God or to that consciousness in the way that you can conceive it. You don't even need to believe in God. You just imagine you are speaking with a omniscient, omnipresent, omnipotent mind. Just imagine that mind, it's a, an exercise of the mind. And instead of in your man, mind chatter speaking with different people that you are projecting in your mind in any case, project in your mind that consciousness to which you are speaking and tell him whatever you need to tell him, if there is something that you need to tell him. That little reality that has no reality. And then when you are dressed, sit down and do your meditation. 20 minutes meditation. Remember? And well, when the day finishes, do another 20 minutes meditation. Remember, it is only one day. Do it this time, only for today. Uh, tomorrow will be another practice. Obviously, if you are a regular meditator, you just continue doing your meditations. That's the right way to go. But if uh, you did not meditate lately, or you meditated in the past, or you have never meditated before, well, do a 20 minutes meditation. Uh, and you have uh, in our website many explanations of how to do it and courses on in how to learn to do it. So uh, thank you very much uh, for listening. Have a very beautiful day. And remember, it's only one day. Namaste.